Hi, welcome to the show today. I'm Wendy Sweet. This is my brother, Bill Fairman. And my other brother, <laughs> Jonathan Davis. <laughs> He's not really my brother, but we feel that way, don't we? I think so, yeah. <laughs> so we just wanted to spend some time today talking about, you don't know when this recording is, but tomorrow is Valentine's Day for us, right? Wait a minute. Carolina Capital Management. You can find us at carolinahardmoney.com. <laughs> don't forget to like and share. So, so he's hung up on that. He won't let me do it. I'm going to tell. So uh, here, this is a really, really special time for us in particular. We were really kind of thinking about what the topic should be and we've got so much to choose from and, you know, where do you start? But because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, I really started thinking a lot about relationships and how important they are in our lives. So I really started thinking too because we just lost a really, really dear friend and mentor by the name of Claude Stone. He is, I guess Bill knew him first, what, over 20 years ago, right? Yeah, when I first started in the mortgage business, when we were doing what was me calling on a borrower specifically, I would call on a mortgage broker because in those days, the companies that had the largest line of credit was the biggest lender. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> and he was big. We had... <laughs> programs and we'd go to these brokers and say, Hey, you know, we have these programs. You can put your borrowers through our, our program. Yeah. And, and Claude Owned ran, the company. One of, ran one of the companies that I used to call. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's a man that started like a bazillion businesses. He was the kind of guy that would take any kind of business or any idea. He was a great visionary and he would find someone that could run it and basically partner with them and mm -hmm. start businesses. He did everything, sold cabinets, rehabbed houses, did the mortgage company. It would just went on and on and on all of the different things that he did and everything he did, he did well. Hey, I met him a little bit after Bill did. And one of the things I um, love so much about this guy is he's blunt, very opinionated, <laughs> unlike us <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and just wise. I mean, he was, he was in his 90s and worked until literally a I'm month. I'm going to say not when we met him. No. <laughs> he worked until about a month before he passed, till about a month ago. And I remember one day he pulled me aside. This was, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. And he said, you know, Wendy, you really need to start dressing different. And I said, really? Because, you know, you don't talk about what a girl wears. But yeah. I have to admit, I was getting a little sloppy and wearing jeans and some t-shirts every now and again. He said, you need to look like you are a management company for fun. You need, you need to look like who you are. And I said, you are so right, Claude. You know, he, mm -hmm. he didn't make me mad at first. I was a little bit, but well, good thing. You can't see the shorts <laughs> underneath right. this jacket. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he, but, but he was just blunt in everything he did. We would tease him too about how he was so old that he was here when, when Jesus walked on the earth and we would call him ancient and, and just all these great, wonderful things that we teased him about. But he was so, such a great mentor to both Bill and I. And what was really cool was that he, he just really cared about us, made it really clear how he felt about us. And, and I thank God that I did the same to him, that I let him know how much he meant to not only me, but my brother, Bill, and my kids. He, he knows my kids. You know, we used to all, all go to the same meetings, and my, my kids go to those meetings, too, investor meetings. So he got to know them. He encouraged them. He was just a really great person. And, you know, another person I could bring up is J.C. Underwood. He passed just a few months ago, and, you know, he's another guy that's just a solid, walks with God, loves this business, loves helping other people, had lots of different companies, but cared about your success. Yeah. So having just, you know, lost these two great guys in our lives, I thought, wow, it would be a good time for us to encourage others to, you know, the reason why we're talking about how important these relationships are is because it's important for all of us to think about who it is that's really made some changes in your world that's affected what you do, whether it's family, business, spiritually, whatever, mm -hmm. and let them know 
what can, what kind of changes they made. I, I have a we have a friend John, Tom Olson who runs Good Success Mastermind. He had the people in his mastermind think of three people that made a change in their life and had each of them write a note to that person, reach out and text them. And I got some notes from those people. I felt so good. I thought, wow, it, it totally, it changed my outlook, not only for the day, but I mean, I, I go back and I think about it constantly about how I was able to affect somebody else's life. I can't believe I was able to do that. And that might made me start thinking about, gosh, you know, I could do, 150 of those things of people that have changed my life. So, so Jonathan, who in your life has made a difference? Can you? Well, I would have to say most recently, you and Bill, for sure. Oh, wow. We didn't even pay for that one, did <laughs> so we? Uh, no, it's just, Don't worry. Your job is really safe. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, prior to uh, coming with you guys, I was only exposed to, you know, the note buying and selling, you know, creating W2 income for yourself, those sorts of things. And you all have exposed me over the course of several years now to more alternative investment strategies through buying rental properties, through self-directed IRAs, just all those things. Wow. Yeah. And that has made a big difference for me and my family. Awesome. For sure. Awesome. Um, so that's definitely one. And I mean, I have to, you know, my wife, of course. She is pretty awesome. He married up. <laughs> Yeah, she's Love his awesome. pay grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, awesome. uh, she is definitely the key to my success and the grounding that I need because you know we we talked before. You know, if you're uh, Bill and I talked about it, if if you're in the if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room and right. you should you should leave it. There for a while, I enjoyed being that smartest person in the room, and she reminds me like yeah, then that's not a really great room and you need to leave that one for sure. <laughs> you know, so it, it definitely keeps me grounded and, and it's a big part of, of, uh, of our success. That's awesome. That's awesome. How about you, Bill? Yeah, it, it is all about constantly trying to improve yourself yes. and at the same time, lifting up others. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to have to say the first person that comes to mind with me is Dr. David Phelps. Yeah. Now, while we kid him because he's a dentist and they're very introverted and he is one of the biggest introverts. You never know it because he <laughs> speaks in public all the That's time, right. but he worked at it right. to become more comfortable mm -hmm. speaking in public and what he's done for me. And it's funny, David and I do not have very long conversations together. We don't communicate constantly either, but what David has been able to do for me is surround me by others who have oh that's so well put. Yeah. have lifted me up and mm -hmm. given me the opportunity to better myself i don't want to say trained but i learned from his speaking coach mm. the person that made him more comfortable in front of folks right not how just to feel comfortable but to also communicate better through uh, his mentoring and the people that have been in his I guess you call it sphere. In, influent, one um, of the greatest influencers. I, I, or I have so many people within that group mm -hmm. that have touched me somehow to yeah. better myself in life and in business. Mm -hmm. I, I can't thank him enough for that, just yeah. for exposing me to that group. That's yeah. great. So. Yeah, I've, I've always talked about how knowing David Phelps has really made a difference, being in that collective genius mastermind has made a difference, you know, business wise and spiritually, it's kind of funny because a lot of the people that are also lifting me up spiritually are also in those groups. And that's, it's that's kind great, of, it's, it? yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome that, you know, I don't have to stop being one person and start being another. It's, it's all one, you know, and you don't have to be a chameleon to move around. That's the truth. Yeah. That's the truth. And I, you know, I'm always attracted. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you. No, Actually, no, you were going to interrupt me. You. <laughs> <laughs> but the people that come to my mind are, 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 you know, Glenn Stromberg, Tom Olson, you know, Randy Lawrence mm. is, is another person. These are all people who are really spiritually grounded. Mm. There's a local guy here in town by the name of Paul o Olson. Tom and Paul are not related, mm -hmm. but he is like the most grounded spiritual person I've ever met. I've, I've never seen anybody have the patience that he has and truly, you know, asks 
for God to just direct him in every single thing he does and to watch how things are showered on him and mm. blows my mind. Darren Brocklebank is another one that I'm just amazed at his walk. I, I like watching their walk and seeing how they're they're walking in faith with their business and and God just showers things. Just to be them. clear, she's not watching them walk. Yeah. <laughs> Metaphorically no, yeah. walk. I think, I think they get it. So Uh, The thing about Paul Olson, too, he said something to me the other day that I thought was really funny. He was talking about a deal that he was doing on these duplexes. There's like three of them that he was building in this area of town that's right on the edge near South Park, right on the edge of just turning into a real high ritzy place. But maybe he is, maybe it isn't. Mm -hmm. And the city has been fighting him on allowing him to build the certain things that he was building on these duplexes that he was building on these properties. And he never got upset about it. He's been patient. It was a year and a half. And finally they wouldn't approve the four units he was trying to do, but they would approve three. So in that year and a half though, having those three approved now that area has absolutely exploded. And instead of making you know, it, selling them at four fifty a piece once they're done. Now they're up in the nine hundred thousand dollar range, and it couldn't happen to a better guy. Oh I mean, goodness. so he's wow. sitting on this. He says, "Yep, God has been teaching me supernatural patience." <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I yeah. thought that was kind of cool, but it's I, cool. I wanted to go back to that chameleon thing. Yeah, and having to put on a different face to be in different groups. Yeah, and yeah. One one of the things that these groups that we're in. Mm-hmm basically tell us to do and we learn this there is don't Don't be the chameleon be who you are that's right because eventually you're only going to attract people that are like you that's right and if you are constantly who you are then what ends up happening in not just life but in business Mm -hmm. you're going to repel the people that you don't need to be around the headaches (laughs) yeah for sure (laughs) and you're going to attract the ones that you do because you are who you are and you're not deviating. Mm, no. So do not try to be everything to everyone. That's right. Great point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. But the, the point of this whole talk really is think of who in your life has made a difference. Think of someone in your life that's made a difference in your business, someone in your family and someone in your spiritual walk and thank them, tell them, let them know the changes that they've done for you, the changes, the things that they've made you look, look at and, and the changes that you've made in your life because of the influence that they've made on you, mm-hmm. because it'll, it'll absolutely send them soaring and, and they'll do more. That's what's really cool. You know, they'll spread I, that out to when others when too. We were talking about what Tom made the exercise Tom had you do with the send people sending out the notes. Yeah. I'm thinking my note is going to be, I'm going to be part of the 10 biggest mistakes people make. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you've been influenced my life. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't send them notes. You you really stink, and I don't really want to be around you anymore. Yeah, that's probably not not wise. But just think about that. So you've spent another great opportunity here with us today to listen to our great wisdom. Yes. In other words, <laughs> translation. Yeah. We've been bloviating here yeah. for. <laughs> That's a, that's a five dollar word right oh, there kudos. big points yeah. thank you i like that <laughs> uh, hopefully you got something out of it and uh, so join us again so yes. we, when we bloviate some more <laughs> don't forget to like and share <laughs> carolinahardmoney.com is how you can get a hold of us that's right uh, look for our have, other links yes and we have archive yeah because there's a lot of good way. videos around yeah. and you need to check them all out right some less bloviating than others <laughs> have a wonderful day Thank you. So thank you so much for joining us. If you really like what you heard, you want to see some more, switch over here or here <laughs> or perhaps there. There's more episodes, but they're somewhere. Yeah. I think Click they're, it on. They're up. By the way, subscribe and like us as well. Please. <laughs>